Now guys, we're gonna put the brake pads back in place. I'm gonna use, see there's the imprint, tiny smear of copper grease, not much, just a bit. So yeah it looks a lot but it is not. I like to do this too. Okay, that's one. And this one is on the other side. So. This too, this too, and this too. Just a little bit. Okay, then we have our, yeah, what is it, guiding sliding pin. It looks good. Okay. Gonna give it a tiny bit, really a tiny bit. See? Oh, like this. Add a bit onto there. We're gonna do this brake pad. It goes in like this. Goes, yep. Yeah. Perfectly in place. Wait a minute. Hoop. Then we take the guiding sliding pin. Okay. Oh, oops. There. Have a look if it's perfectly in place from this side. Yes, it is. Then we have the front. This side. Okay, so carefully this one a little bit back. This is really easy. Huh? Be sure that it's perfectly in place, which it is. Yep. Okay, let's see. This side is good. And this side is also good. You can see it here. Okay. Sliding pin. We have to tap it in from the other side. Got one of these and an armor. Then up, up. Yep, and it's perfectly in place. Then we have to turn it for our split pen. Let's see. Yes, the one was over there. Here I got split pen thing. Yep. Yes. There it is. Perfect. Now we're going to pump up the brake pads. It's now. Perfect. Now guys, over here we have the speed sensor. AK ABS sensor goes in over there and I'm gonna put it in with a tiny smear of grease so now you can get it out over many many years without a problem this one needs to be tight, but guys, carefully, not too tight. Just up, like this. That's enough. Comes over like this, the protection. And that was, remember, really, uh, yeah, terrible. Rusted. So, 
we're gonna give this one a good smear of grease and I'm sure that now until the end of time not going to rust anymore now resin yep so his brother looked a bit better but I'm gonna give it a good grease too oh <laughs> okay Then Oop. not too tight. Okay, and this one also not too tight. So and now we're gonna torque the front sprocket. Now guys, we're going to torque the front sprocket. First, we're going to block the chain with the brake. Is that easy? Yeah, really easy. Just take a strap. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, chain's blocked. Then, and now comes the part where you have to be careful. Pay attention, guys. As this one has this special washer with a shoulder it goes onto it like this and we have I think it's called a spring loaded uh, washer a spring loaded washer that goes onto that shoulder see with the band yeah up like this then we need a bit of Screw it in and be careful. See now it falls down as it, it is not on that shoulder. So screw it a bit in and then up and now yes, perfectly in place and it needs to be torqued with 40 newton meters and that's easy with my torque range. Up 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 set it to 40 and that's over there and I stand there and over there now and now we start see there it is up oh. <laughs> now now see Okay, torqued, then we have that, uh, yeah what is it, protection thing, already cleaned it, okay watch, 
put it in place. The three bolts. Guys. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite. Medium strength. Just as they are not that tight. Okay. Then a drop of Loctite over here. So I'm sure it's not working itself loose as a one cylinder always. Okay. A one cylinder always yeah, vibrates. Our business on a one cylinder. Huh? So. So. Boah, kraakt een beetje zelfs. Zo, so. hop, nou. Hop, not too tight. Okay, this one too, not too tight. Up, okay. Yes. Hey, you can see my my uh, link, uh, my flare pin. See, oh, ho, 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 ho. ho. Sounds great, guys. Now, going further, eh? Is some work to do on this baby. And of course, torque tight. <laughs> tight, tight. So, sure. Perfect. Yes. Now, guys, we're gonna. Adjust the chain slack. And actually, I'm on the wrong side of the bike and the chain is on the other side. Uh, but first, we have to put it on its side stand. That's important. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Slag needs to be in between 25 and 30 mil halfway. So that's now well, let's say it's over here. Oh, yeah. gonna push it up from one to six. Over here is our chain adjuster. And we're gonna get it on equal on both sides. It's now at the second one marking. So, and as you see, the chain goes. Well, now it's the second marking over here. We're gonna do the same. It's too far, so Okay, 
kill it. It's over here on exactly the second mark too. Are we gonna see? Well, it's now. Oh, it's still way too loose. So watch the chain as it goes really quick. I give it one. Now it's just a bit further. Over here the same thing. Let's see. Okay. Hop. Now that's already better. Pull this up. Wait a minute. So like this. Push it up. One and a half. Two. Uh, yeah. Five and a half. So that's one, two, three, four. Tiny bit more. Watch the chain. That's just a half turn. Okay. So yes, and then now we measure it again. Now it's from two to just five. So it's now at three. Give it a tiny bit more. Other side too. Let's have a look. Looky look. Just pass two on this one. Okay. Now let's see. I think oh. from two to four and a half. So that's two and a half. Okay, now we're gonna torque the rear axle and it needs to be at 80 newton meters. Now it's also easy. The rear axle, 80 newton meters. Socket twenty seven. Yep, this one. Oh, other side. Oh. We go to eighty. Mm. That's Yo, and that's. Exactly here. Oh, pick it up. So, okay. Up. Yes. Always. Screw it. She know by now. All the way. Free play. And then screw it in. Feel the drag. And that's the point to hang it back in your shed. Easy, huh? Very easy. I'm gonna give this a tiny bit more. So it's now nicely snug to this, uh, to this uh, adjusting uh, thing. I lubricated it, so greased it, so now I can easily get that nut back in place. It's the blocking nut, and the blocking nut, this is 10, range 10, and this is range 13. Oh. Hold this one in place, and give it a good snug. Torqued, and as you can see, over here I drilled the hole so the air can come out. 
this checked and this checked. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So guys, this was my video about renewing the sprockets, renewing the chain, and also I found out that the bearings weren't good. They were, uh, yeah, bad. So. I also renewed the, the all four bearings and the oil seals. So, it was a nice uh, thing to do. But, I still have more to do on this one. So, I say for now, see you the next time. Old Mechanic, out!